my YouTube videos. I have been gone off of YouTube for like a good minute and I am back. I'm back. I'm back. Honestly, I've been caught up with so many things that it's just been so difficult to make time to film and edit a YouTube video, especially since I was having a seminar and a bunch of other projects I've been working on. It just became so difficult to film. But um, I'm back. I'm all yours now. I'm going to go back to my routine of filming and uploading at least once to twice a week. I promise you guys, I am so sorry. But um, yeah, I came back and I came back stronger than ever with a bomb look for you guys. Um, so let me tell you quickly about this look so we can get straight into it. So this is a silver look. This look goes absolutely great with anything and everything, especially um, if you're going out and you're having a you have a silver dress or you're going to a wedding This is very also very bridal. Um, I don't think I have many silver looks on my channel So I think this is one of the first this is a very soft Face makeup, you know, it's a kind of makeup. No makeup look definitely not cakey not um, too much not over the top stays on all day for sure but the eyes is what takes the whole look away it's just making it look bam 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 you know just takes everything away like you'll make someone fall in love just looking at them like that's how bomb this eye look is this look goes perfect on any silver dress that you have if you have any silver accessories i know sometimes that's a little difficult like what I look do I wear with this blue dress that has silver you know it's always easier to do a gold eye look it's always super safe it's gold and bronze it's a more safe and easy eye look silver it's a little more um, hey like what I look goes good whatever this is a perfect look that goes great with many 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 things um, and I'll be showing you guys step by step on my channel like always how I create this eye look I hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel become part of my Ratada family if you're not already which I don't understand why you're watching this video and not subscribed <laughs> Hit the button down below and follow me on Instagram at Yvette Santos so you guys can be up to date with all of my posts, giveaways, um, events, and all cool, awesome stuff that I do on my free time when I'm not on YouTube, you know, bam, 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 bam. If you're into fashion, if you're into makeup videos, makeup looks, um, me, then follow me on Instagram and become part of my Radada family. With that being said, I'm going to go straight into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Okay guys, so to start off this makeup look, the first thing I'm going to do is use my Milk Makeup Cooling Water Eye Patches. And I'm just going to place this under my eyes. This is super cold and super refreshing. I place this in the freezer for like about 30 minutes before I place it on my face. I like to apply it while I'm doing my makeup. My eye makeup um, is just my personal preference because I feel like it minimizes my um, imperfections and my tired eyes just really makes it look very nice and smooth and just super refreshed and cool to start my makeup um i apply this two to three times a week it really helps with the under eyes so i'm going to go ahead and apply this now to start my eye makeup so the first thing i like to do is start off with my eyebrows that is my personal preference i just feel like i have a lot of um space to work with um, concealing my eyebrows and doing all that extra stuff without having to worry about you know being careful with my eyeshadow you know that's just my routine I like to start off with my eyebrows then my eyeshadow then my face um, for this eyebrow look I am using my Babe Lash eyebrow Babe Lash Defining Brow Cream. It is a pomade and honestly, it is amazing. I've been using it for a while now and it really gets the job done very nicely. I love using pomades on my eyebrows. I just really like how um, it makes my eyebrows look personal preference but what I like about this specific eyebrow pomade is that not only does it work as an eyebrow cream but it also keeps your eyebrow hairs in place like after I'm done with my eyebrows it's gonna keep them hard and in place it's gonna keep them still so it works as a pomade and a eyebrow gel so it's like two in one I do want to say I have a promo code with Babe Lash in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of their products, trying it out for yourselves. I am going to be using two of their um, eyebrow products today so you guys can see how it looks. And I've added these two eyebrow products to my everyday routine, which is why I'm going to be using it in this makeup look because it's like I cannot live without it. I do have a promo code. If you guys are interested in using it, I'm going to place it down below in my description bar as well as any other affiliate um, promo codes to save you guys some money.
filling in my eyebrows i'm going to conceal it if you do not do this you have to add it into your eyebrow routine girl what are you doing like this is gonna really change your eyebrow game to the next level if you don't do this already like it's gonna really clean up your eyebrows it's gonna make them into any shape or form you desire it's just gonna clean them up and make them really look alike i'm gonna be using my la pro girl concealer honestly any concealer of your choice will do the job there's no specific concealer that you need for this you just need a concealer you can even use foundation um the brush is what matters though i'm using my morphe m432 brush this brush is like three four dollars around there morphe has great affordable brushes that are actually genuinely good and this brush is square if you guys can tell it's like a rectangle so it's perfect to angle it for um, the eyebrows and clean them off it's not puffy it's not you know it's just it's an angled brush so it really gets the job done there done with my eyebrows and concealing them I'm gonna move on to my eyes and the first thing I do is use my eyeshadow primer if you guys have been following me and watching my videos for a while this is a step that I always do I never miss um you have to you have to you just have to like you have to use eyeshadow primer if you want your eyeshadow to stick on your eyelids you have to use this I don't even believe in concealer because concealer at the end of the day it creases so this does not crease and it really allows your eyeshadow to just stick on your eyelids so if you don't believe in this start believing in it and start using it it doesn't matter which eyeshadow primer you use I'm using my urban decay one but NYX Maybelline CoverGirl they all have bomb eyeshadow primers they all do the same exact thing so you don't have to get a high high-end eyeshadow primer they all work doing the same exact thing Now that my eyeshadows are prepped and primed, I'm going in with a nice neutral bone color to just set my eyelids up. Um, I, this is a step that I never miss. I always do. In this case, I'm using my Kylie Cosmetics Take Me on Vacation eyeshadow palette. And I'm using this color right here. Um, what color is this? This is Surfboard. So this color is Surfboard. It's the most neutral color in the palette. And um, I just am going to be using a fluffy brush just to apply it all over my eye. I want to make sure that I have a translucent bone, sorry, bone neutral color to set my eyeshadow primer. Because if not, if I go in with a color right away, it's sticky. So I want to make sure it is just set. Anything you do, you want to set it. Your concealer, your foundation, your makeup, you want to set it after, you know, it's all prepped and primed. So, same case for this. I'm going to be setting my eyeshadow primer with a neutral color. I'm just going to be dabbing it in like this and just placing it everywhere. There's no trick to this. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. It's just, this, this is just going to make it super um, um, smooth and set for me to go in with the actual colors that I will be using for this look. Using my small detailed brush, which is the Morphe M507, my absolute favorite brush. It gets in between, you know, the creases. It is a super small detail brush, so it really does great detail work. And I'm just going to be moving it in circular motion to just smoke out the corners of my eyes. And I'm going to be using my um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. I've never actually read what was the name of this palette i just kind of say it was the cap on z palette so that's why it took me a while but i'm going to be using this black now black is black you can use any black of your choice you don't have to use this eyeshadow palette you can use any black that you would like but i'm just going to be um placing my brush into this black and just smoking out the corners of my eye now that i have concealed my eyelids I am now setting my concealer like always you have to set everything you place I am just setting it with that bone color that we used at first to set our eyeshadow primer and I'm just setting it because it's wet right now like and nothing's gonna glide on so you want to make sure it is nice and set I'm now using my Anastasia Beverly Hills modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette one of my absolute favorites and I'm going to be using the color called Vermeer it is right up here and it is a very um, silverish, but with some pink undertones. But it's gonna look very silverish. Um, so it's not too, too silver, but 
Anyways, it's the perfect silver. And I'm just going to be placing it on top of my concealer. And having this concealer carved out is perfect because it's just going to guide me where exactly to place this silver. For eyelashes, I'm using my Huda Beauty Lashes in Sasha. These are my absolute favorite favorite lashes like I feel like I can use them up to 75 times it's like so amazing and so like you know um well put together like I mean you are able to reuse them so many times without them breaking this is honestly like top-notch lashes to me you can get these at Sephora they're like 20 21 dollars but they're well worth it and you will have them for a while Face primer, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Face Primer and I'm just going to be applying this all over my face. I did use my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I am in the color Syracuse. And to be honest, it's one of my absolute favorites. It does give me a natural cute glow. It is a light to medium coverage foundation. And to be honest, nobody needs any more than that. We have to keep in mind that we are going to be contouring and concealing and setting our face. And we're going to be applying a lot of stuff on our face. We cannot be looking cakey out here so light to medium coverage foundation is it like that's how you get that makeup no makeup look but yet you can tell you have makeup on without looking cakey okay less is more one of my top favorite foundations for sure for this look i'm using two of my favorite concealers i'm using my makeup forever ultra hd concealer they're both the same exact concealer just obviously different shades so i'm going to place this one which is color 43 i'm going to place it in the bridge of my nose under my eyes it's going to give me a very natural highlight this is not too light so it's not going to give me a drastic pop that is not what i'm looking for for this look and then i am using my other concealer in the shade 50 this is my contouring concealer this is what's going to give me a nice um like sun-kissed bronzed like contour i don't go any darker than this and to be honest this is one of my absolute favorite 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 concealers well now i want of my absolute my absolute favorite concealer when it comes to contouring because it's not too dark and it gives me that nice tan um contour look because the darker you get it the more muddy it looks and sometimes it gets harder to blend so this is the darkest i'll go for contouring to set my concealer under my eyes bridge of my nose and under my contour for a nice sharp contour i'm using my favorite i always use this i've been using it ever since i started youtube ever since i started makeup this will never change this is the laura mercier translucent setting powder it goes good on any skin tone it is translucent it is just honestly amazing it is not drying it is pretty hydrating and this is what allows my makeup to stay on all day I am using my MAC um, Modern Mandarin Blush. This is one of my favorites, all-time favorites. Ever since I started doing makeup, this has been one of my blushes that I use all the time. And I'm just going to be using my BH Cosmetics Blush Brush to just apply this on my cheekbones. For highlighter, I am using my MAC um, Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This is a highlighter. And I fun fact about this highlighter um the first time i ever got my makeup done ever by somebody was at mac and it was my prom i was 18 and this is the highlighter that they used on me and ever since then i purchased it i loved it and i use it all the time it is one of my absolute favorites it gives you such a natural highlight and to be honest um this highlight is kind of like rose goldish silver kind of looks like my eyes right now and on my skin tone, it actually looks really, really good. And I really like it. So yeah, that was just a fun fact. But yeah, I'm going to be highlighting my nose, my um, Cupid's bow, and a little bit on top of my blush. Not too much, not too excessive. Less is more. Remember, guys. 
finished up the bottom of my eyes by applying some basic you know eyeliner any eyeliner of your choice on my waterline and just some mascara and now moving on to the last part which is my lipstick I'm gonna be using three different lipsticks just spit on myself I'm gonna be using three different lipsticks starting off by my Mac cream denude lipstick my favorite it's like the perfect nude, but if I apply this by itself without lip lining it or no lip gloss, it's going to look like I haven't ate in days. Then I'm going to outline my lips with my NYX lip liner in Nutmeg, and then I'm just going to give this a little bit of shine, bam, 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 bam. The gloss is really going to complement the look, and this is my MAC Primo Primer Dial primer dial. I don't know. I'm going to place it down. Probably saying it wrong, but you guys get the point. Well, this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked it as much as I loved filming it for you guys. Um... Practice makes perfect, guys. If you guys want to accomplish a specific look and um, you're just not getting there, just a little note to self. Do not get frustrated. Practice makes perfect and you will master anything, anything you want to as long as you practice and as long as you take your time. And patience is key, okay? And I'm just saying this because I do makeup classes and I do seminars and events and I know how this works. I know that a lot of people get frustrated when trying to accomplish a certain look. Um, keep in mind that sometimes it's not looking the same because you're not using the right products, because you're not using the right brushes. You can't be using a huge brush on a small eyelid. Like, that's another reason why your eye looks might not look the way that you want it to look, your smoky eye. So just keep that all in mind. I have placed every single product I use down below, as well as some promo codes and affiliate um, codes for you guys to shop and save. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. Make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys.